In this problem, we are going to see how to deal with wait stages. So in process A account, we have four expenses. So the first one is raw material, two raw material. The value is 10,000. Next to other materials, value is 30,000. Next, two direct wages. Value is 10,000. Two overheads. Value is 10,000. The total cost comes to 10,000 in process A. So the output of process A is 15,000 units. And the value is 60,000. So per unit cost is equal to 60,000 divided by 15,000. So it is rupees 4 per unit. So this is transferred to process B account. rupees 4 per unit so in process A there is no waste stages next moving to process B the transfer which we got from process A account to process A account we got 15,000 units at the rate of 60,000 and the per unit cost of process A is rupees 4. In this process B, we have an opening stock. Two opening stock. The number of units we have is 6000. So this will be valued at rupees. 4 per unit which we calculated in our previous process so 4 into 6000 you will be getting 24000 next we have other materials worth rupees 20000 And direct wages twenty thousand to over its eight eight thousand So totally we are getting one lakh thirty two thousand. So here the units which we have is totally one thousand. In this we are supposed to keep a closing stock of five thousand. So by closing stock.
5000 so this is to be valued at the per unit cost of previous stock so at the rate of rupees 4 so the value is 20000 and the output of the process b which is going to be transferred to process c is only 14000 so here there is a difference of 2000 rupees the input was 21000 but the output is only 19000 so the balance 2000 is by wastages this wastage doesn't have any accounting treatment and it doesn't have any value so now we have to find what is the value for the red, uh, what is the per unit cost which is going to be transferred to process C account so 132,000 minus 20,000 so balance is 1 lakh 12,000 So to know what is per unit cost, equal to one lakh twelve thousand divided by fourteen thousand is transferred at the rate of eight rupees. Moving to process C account, the transfer which you got from process B that is to process D account. Fourteen thousand units at the rate of one lakh twelve thousand. Here also you have an opening stock of five thousand units. 5000 units so two opening stock five thousand units and this will be valued at the value cost per unit which is valued in the process B so at the rate of rupees eight per unit so eight into five thousand you will be getting forty thousand Next, two other materials. The value is 10,000. Two direct wages. Thirty thousand. Two overheads. So total value of input is 19,000 and total cost is 1 lakh 12,000 and the closing stock of this is should be 1000 units so by closing stock 1000 units and this should be valued at the cost per unit of previous process so at rupees 8 so it is 8000 and which is transferred to the the output is transferred to the finished stock account by finished stock 
and the output is given as it is 17,000. So out of 19,000, only 18,000 is the output. So we assume that balance 1,000 units are waste stages by waste stages. This waste stage doesn't have any accounting treatment and they don't have any value. So out of 2 lakh 12,000, when you deduct 8,000, the balance is 2 lakh 4,000. And the per unit cost is Two lakh four thousand divided by seventeen thousand. Twelve rupees. The finish stock is valued at rupees twelve per unit.